Hi, in this tutorial I'll introduce the concept of rim lighting to enhance the beauty of your render. So stick with me until the end. I created a scene earlier with a few simple lights already set up. Now I'm going to add a light to make the edges of the object shine. This is known as rim light. We'll create three types of rim lights. Let's start with the first one. I'm using Blender 4.2 with EVNX and I've already configured a few settings. If you'd like to learn more about EVNX, you can check out the tutorial here. For example, if we consider the view direction to be here, the light should be placed behind the object. Press Shift A and in lights and add an area light. Press S to increase its size. Press shift space to move and rotate the light. This direction looks good. Now press the zero key to switch to the camera view. I need to raise the intensity to make the light more visible around the object. I think I can adjust the light's position slightly. Go to the light settings and increase the power to a high value. Rim light needs to be quite bright, but it's currently too intense, making it hard to see the shiny side. Here you can see significant shadow leakage, an issue common in EV but not in cycle. To fix it, you can use jittered light. I covered this in detail in the EV Next tutorial. Simply activate jitter and reduce the filter and resolution settings. Now that's good. Let's switch to the camera view now. This powerful light changed the whole result and make it very pretty. Disable light and compare the difference. There are noticeable differences even with more powerful lights having a rim light is essential. I can experiment with different positions for the light. The light is positioned more around the rim of the object, but I prefer the previous placement. Let's compare the result from different camera angles. The object lacks any depth or character. Alright, let's set up the second type of rim light. Open the shader editor window so I can make some changes to the creature's material. There are several nodes here and I only need to modify one attribute. Sheen is an attribute available in the principal PSC of shader. This property can create shiny highlights around the object. Let's increase the weight value now. As you can see, shiny areas have appeared, but these aren't affected by the lights. This effect can appear anywhere on the object, depending on the normal. You can increase the weight value, try selecting a different number. It appears as if the object is highlighted. You can also adjust the intensity by modifying the roughness. Lower values result in less intensity, whereas higher values increase it. This is another type of rim light, though it's more of a rim effect because it isn't dependent on the light. Now let's introduce the third type. It looks similar to the previous one, but gives you more control. Press Shift A and then search for the Fresnel effect. This effect will create shiny highlights around the object. This node is very versatile and commonly used in various 3D software. Press Shift, Control and left click to preview the effect. The effect creates highlights around the object and adjusts according to the viewing angle. 
Applying a small amount of this effect can improve the overall result. Which input pin should you connect this to? The best choice is emission, but you can also use base color. I need to connect this to the strength input. Press Ctrl, Shift and left click on the shader to preview the result. It still needs some adjustments. The frontal node has a normal pin where you should connect your normal map. This is the normal map and I should connect normal output to the frontal. Now it's creating shiny highlights according to the normal map. It provides more detailed highlights. You can adjust both the intensity and the range of the Fresnel by modifying the IOR. Also you can enhance control by adding a math node. Press Shift A and add a math node. There are various math operations available to choose from, but I prefer power. It provides greater control over the adjustments. The shiny areas are overly bright. You can tone them down by applying the multiply operation. It resembles a tune shader effect, but to achieve realism, the white areas should be less intense. Let's slightly increase the exponent. Next, let's duplicate the math node by pressing Shift D. Then change the operation to multiply. The shiny areas are too intense. To reduce the effect, select the lower value. I think a value of 0.1 should work well. As you can observe, there is a slight rim effect on the skin. If I sever the connection by pressing Ctrl right click, you'll notice a difference. Let's enable the rim light simultaneously. Adding a subtle rim effect to dark areas can be very effective. Incorporating these details can significantly improve your render. If you have any additional tips, you can share them in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions and ideas, feel free to share them in the comments.